Health experts are shedding light on two Americas sharply divided on the decision whether or not to vaccinate against the coronavirus. A new Politico Harvard poll shows the nation nearly evenly split over whether or not vaccination should be required for children older than the age of 12 in order to return to in-person learning. It also shows a similar divide over employers mandating vaccinations as a condition to return to the office. Not surprisingly, those feelings track closely with political affiliation. Democrats largely favor the vaccine requirements and Republicans mostly oppose them. Health officials like Dr. Anthony Fauci say they are concerned about the politicizing of scientific data, particularly as the Delta variant is now the leading strain in the new cases here in the U.S. Inexplicable why people, when they see the data in front of them, that they don't get vaccinated. We have a Delta variant that you mentioned, John, that is easily transmissible, much more easily and readily and efficiently from person to person than the other viruses, the other variants that we've dealt with. That's the first thing. The second thing, the data that's hitting you right between the eyes is that 99.5% of all the deaths to COVID-19 are in unvaccinated people. For more on this, I want to bring in Dr. Krutika Kupali. She is an assistant professor of medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases at the Medical University of South Carolina. Dr. Kupali, good to have you back. Let's talk schools. With the Delta variant on the rise and young kids still not cleared for vaccination yet, What questions should parents be asking? And do you anticipate any changes to the CDC's latest guidance on in-person learning? Well, first of all, I don't think that the CDC is going to have any changes to their guidance. They just came out with some new guidance in the last couple of days. And in that guidance, they really do encourage that everybody try to get back to in-person learning. And I think one of the keys to that is going to be Uh, trying to get all teachers vaccinated prior to the new school year and really trying to push getting children uh, 12 years in age and above uh, vaccinated. So I think that's going to be really key to making sure that schools are safe. Um, Also in that guidance, they um, outlined some uh, rules and um, some guidance for uh, physical distancing and also for some other non-pharmaceutical interventions. And so I think, again, you know, as has been said repeatedly, uh, the vaccines are extremely safe. We've had millions and millions of people uptake the vaccine at this time, and it's going to be critical that we uh, try to get that um, uptake in our young people if we're going to get schools open uh, safely come the fall. How concerned are you about the Delta variant potentially changing things for uh, for the way that we're handling the pandemic? Because now the Delta variant accounts for half of new COVID infections. I'm hoping you can explain for our viewers how much more contagious this variant is compared to other strains. Yeah, so the Delta variant is extremely concerning. And as I think some other public health experts have discussed, we really worry about having what we call a two-track pandemic. So, um, you know, those who are vaccinated and have protection from the vaccine and those who have not been vaccinated um, and are at risk. And what we're seeing is that people who have not been vaccinated um, are the ones who are getting sick, the ones that are getting hospitalized and having adverse outcomes. Um, And so, that's one thing. The second thing is is that the data that we know about the Delta variant so far shows that it is increasingly transmissible. Um, Information out from Public Health England this past week shows that it's more contagious, um, about 40% more transmissible than the Alpha variant, um, which was described late last year. Um, Other um, information shows that um, it may partially evade antibodies made by the body after a coronavirus infection or vaccination, and it may also cause more severe disease. So there's a lot of reason to be concerned about the Delta variant. Um, Additionally, if we don't get levels of circulating virus down, we're gonna be at risk for developing additional variants um, that may be even worse than the Delta variant. So it really is concerning that we're seeing these numbers go back up again, not just the United States, but globally. And we really do need to work on uh, doing everything we can to get those numbers back down again. Dr. Kupali, you mentioned that that there's really two tracks, uh, two 
sections of America, those that have been vaccinated and those that haven't, and we know that that varies state by state. FEMA recently deployed a surge response team to hard-hit parts of Missouri. Tell us more about what those teams are hoping to accomplish and what they do. Yeah, so I think what those teams are hoping to accomplish is really to um, assist the healthcare systems in those parts of the state that are being overwhelmed by these um, patients now who have COVID infection. Um, I think that they're also hoping to try and help um, get people vaccinated who haven't been vaccinated. We we really need to get out to people that have not been vaccinated so far and um, really try to understand why they haven't been vaccinated. And if we can address those questions um, to try and get them to get uptake of the vaccine. So I think there's probably a number of ways that those responders are going to be used. Um, you know, I think it's important to remember that uh, frontline workers, healthcare professionals have been on the front lines of this pandemic for a year and a half, and they are exhausted. And so now when you start seeing the healthcare facilities um, be at capacity again, that's really hard for them. And um, that impairs the care for other patients as well. So we need to find ways to offload the healthcare systems, and that's what these um, responders are going to help with. All right. Dr. Krutika Kupali, thank you for joining us, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you.